What if I told you there is an open source AI model that can read and write and generate images and it's not more than 100 gigabytes. With this model, you don't have to choose. It can text and image generate and also understand images. Whoa. Meet DeepSeek Janus, the new AI model that will change the game. I will show you exactly what makes it special and test it capability. So let's get started. So what is Janus exactly? Janus defines itself as an autoregressive framework designed for multimodal tasks, meaning it can handle both visual and language-based information like image and text in unified way. The autoregressive part actually refer or mean a model that can predict each element like the next word or a part of an image based on what it has seen so far. This is a very common in language models, but here Janice and adding text and image task in one model. It unified the multimodal understanding and generation. The previous multimodal that we got so far often focus on either understanding image and analyze what inside them or generate images or text from giving data. Janice tried to do both in a single model by unifying these tasks. The Janus architect you will understand it if you look to this image actually. They're using just one unified transformer which is this over here, but they're separating the understanding here on the left and on the right they're doing the image generation separated also. Janus is 1.3 billion parameter model that have been trained on about 500 billion text token and it also can understand and support input images 384 by 384, which it make it extremely small, but you can run it on your local machine. When it comes to performance, Janus is not that bad actually. It's doing very good. It's beating every single model that have attempted to do the same thing that Janus did. It's not only unifies all the task underneath one model, but it actually is very good at performance and beating every single model at this category. Enough talking, let's see this model in action. Right now, the only place that you can get it from is Hind Face and DeepSeek have been very generous by creating a demo to use it. So we're gonna test it there. For my first question, I will basically test the OCR of this model. And I have this image that have handwriting text and it's actually not that good. You can't read it. I told it, can you give me the text inside this image, please? It kind of failed to be honest. This is not the correct response that I should get. Other model did a wonderful job like the Lama Vision, but let's see the other questions. My second question is about detection. Uploaded this image with different animals, three dogs, one cat and parrot and the rabbit. And I told it name the animal in this image. And it got it almost correct, really nice. It told me there is a dog, there is a cat, there is a parrot and a rabbit and another dog. But there is actually in the end there is two different dogs over here. Can't detect the last one for some reason. I have this simple image for a receipt for grocery. And I uploaded and I asked it what is the total order in this receipt. And it actually got it correct. $100. So there is a few follow up questions for this image. I should ask it. I did ask it to describe what inside this image or what is this image about. And it gave me a very decent detailed answer. So it's also kind of succeeded in these questions. And I asked it a simple question. How much the chicken breast cost? And it's give me the correct answer. It's over here. $12 and 18 cents, which is correct answer. I mean, like it's kind of not that great, but also not bad. It's have this kind of so far decent performance. I think this is enough for testing the first part of this model. The second part right now should be tested, which is the text to image generation. The first test has actually resulted a very decent amount of images. I ask it to create a bird, orange details in the background, painted in the style of impressionism and pastel color, color for neon pink and lime green and blue, bright background and light yellow tones. And this, this is the result that I got. 
it is not that bad actually for a simple model like this. This is actually this is actually better than Sana, which is the model that came out the last week. I asked it to create a pumpkin cat to test its capability for creative images and understanding different kind of objects and a cat and a pumpkin that merge together and this is the result that I got. It's very ugly except this one it's decent and this one is just a straight title of a horror movie. After testing it for a while to generate a couple of images idea, to be honest I will not advise you to use it as like a text generation image model. Flux is far better so far, even better than Sana and I didn't test the new stable diffusion yet, but this model, text generation is actually trash. This is the best result that I can get from images. The quality of the image resolution itself is very low. It's I feel like it's half selective area that it's really good at. For example, this prompt actually was given by the demo acute and adorable baby fox over here. It's doing not that bad, but also it feels like it's the same capability of the first text to image generation models. The name of the model actually extremely clever and I wanted to explain it. In science and technology, it usually describes an object or a system that have dual properties. But in mythology, especially in the Roman mythology, Janus actually is a god of beginnings, transition, dualities and time. He usually depicted as two faces looking for two different direction and it, he have the ability to see both the past and the future. And the first month, January, actually named after him, which is mean the transition between the old and the new. Anyway, that's it for this video. I wanted to actually to explain why this model stand out from other different multi-model. And I hope that you understand why right now it's a kind of, it's kind of a special model. DeepSeek actually is one of this company that I started to respect. Very new companies out of China. It's given us the deep sea coder, which is in a very amazing model. I am not sure what they're going to do with this, what they're going to do with this kind of model. Are they gonna make a better version, larger version from it? Or it's just like an a paper kind of demo showing what they can do with this kind of idea. So that's it for this video. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, Please hit the like button and subscribe and let me know down below what you want to see in this channel in terms of videos and ideas and I'm going to consider them to be honest. I have seen a few requests on the last video about certain topic aka the Super Maven extension in Visual Studio Code and what it can do in its free trial version. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.